Hi there, my name is Jack and I'm from the University of Queensland United Nations Student Association. Today we're going to do some introductory training on research and preparation for a Model UN conference. In particular, we're going to cover three things. First, what you need to research to roleplay your country. Secondly, how to research it quickly and effectively. And thirdly, how to actually translate the research into a better conference experience. This video will only cover the absolute essentials of MUN research and preparation, and there is a ton more you can do, but we'll leave that for another video. Let's get started. So, what do we need to research for a Model UN conference? Your first priority should be building some context or an idea of what's going on in the first place. It's worth skimming over a recent history of the topic. The last 50 years or so should be enough to give you necessary background information. You can write down any major events or useful material, but don't spend too long on that. Instead, spend most of your time reading about current events related to the topic. Your main goal is to get a general overview of the subject, but there are four factors in particular to look out for and write down. Number one, who are the relevant stakeholders? In other words, which countries, organizations, or people are most relevant to the topic? How are they involved? Number two, where is this topic most relevant? Some countries or other locations, such as urban or rural areas in particular, might be particularly relevant. Number three, are there any relevant trends in the topic? For example, if you're discussing a war, which side is currently winning? Will that change? Will that continue? And number four, and I think the most important of all, what is everyone's reasoning for their behavior? What do various nations and organizations believe about the topic and how do they justify it? Why is this happening? Whenever you feel that you have a good general overview of the problem, your second priority will be to figure out what can be done about it. Look at any past solutions that have been attempted worldwide. Why did they work or fail? If you can, find some proposed solutions as well. Again, why might they work or fail? Most of your time should be spent researching your country's preferences. What does your assigned country believe should be done? And lastly, try to get a sense of your country's capacity to actually implement any of those solutions. For example, a very corrupt country might not be able to enforce border checks as effectively as smugglers might just pay off the guards. Most of your time in a Model UN conference will be spent trying to come up with solutions to the problem at hand. and It is therefore very important that you spend just as much time researching those solutions as you spend researching the topic in general. If you just walk in well informed but with no new ideas, you'll get stuck very quickly. One final note here, remember to stick to the subtopics given to you in your briefing paper. It's very easy for delegates to look at a conference topic like terrorism, for example, and waste a lot of time researching terrorism as a whole, which is a massive subject. If that briefing paper's subheadings were ransom kidnapping and artifact sales, then 90% of your research time should be spent specifically on those subtopics. Otherwise, you'll be wasting your time and wasting everyone else's time when you start talking about something that they consider irrelevant. Next, how can we research all those things effectively? Research for Model UN is very different to research for an academic paper or assignment. It's much less rigorous, you've probably only set aside a few hours for it in the first place, and you'll ideally be able to remember this research for impromptu speeches or negotiations. With all that in mind, here's how to go about it. The most useful tools at your disposal by far are Google and Wikipedia, so use them, and we're going to spend all of our time on this slide talking about Google and Wikipedia specifically. I've written down a couple of basic search terms you can use to get started. Where you see topic or country in brackets, simply put in your topic or allocated country instead. Notice that the very first recommended search term is simply your topic, for example. If the MUN is about terrorism, there is absolutely no shame in heading straight to the Wikipedia page for terrorism and starting from basics. Here are five further tips for researching effectively. First, keep building a web outwards of subtopics to research. You should be constantly opening new tabs or windows with subtopics to come back to after you're done with the current article you're reading. Second, seek understanding, not encyclopedic knowledge. Some articles will be 95% unimportant details and 5% pure gold. Try to stay conscious of this fact and keep your attention on information that you can actually use in speeches or for writing clauses. Third, 
speed read as much as possible to accomplish that objective, and straight up reject any unhelpful sources. If you have to sift through 10 pages of data in an academic report to find just one useful fact, it's probably not worth reading any further. Bookmark the source if it's particularly good, but move on for now. Fourth, make a dot point summary as you go of important points. The simple act of writing it out again will help you remember it during the conference and save you time looking it up again. That retention is invaluable. And fifth, extrapolate from what you already know if it becomes necessary. If you've spent an hour trying to find Bolivia's exact position on the Armenia-Azerbaijan conflict and they just don't have one, don't waste more time. Use your common sense and existing knowledge to generate a reasonable position for them that they probably hold and use that for the conference. Finally, how can we use all that research to actually participate in the conference? The general idea here is that you should be trying to use this research proactively. Your country has goals and different components of your research could help you achieve those goals in very different ways. Once I'm comfortable with the raw amount of research I've performed for a month, my next step is to read through my dot point summary again and keep asking myself the question, how could this help me? Again, this is a challenge that I think a lot of experienced delegates face as well. They'll often come in very knowledgeable about the subject, but rapidly get stuck because they haven't planned how to actually use that knowledge to achieve their goals. You have to leave time at the end to perform this step. In particular, I think you should be developing four pools of content to help you out. First, you should have a pool of possible solutions to the topic. This should be a combination of past solutions, proposed solutions, and entirely new solutions that you've brainstormed yourself. Just aim to list as many solutions as possible here, whether they're any good or not. You can improve them at the conference in discussion with other delegates, but you don't want to run out of things to do or attempt. A dozen or more is good. Second, you should list some useful actions you could take. If you're a completely new delegate, your first action should probably just be getting in contact with some of your country's allies and trying to work together, either by sending them a note or finding them during an unmoderated caucus, which is basically break time. More experienced delegates can plan specific moderated caucuses in advance or other specific actions they want to take at some point. Third, you should have a rhetoric pool full of juicy facts or ideas or phrases that you want to use in your speeches at some point. Try to link these to some of your proposed solutions. If one argument for why the United States should be really involved in the Middle East justifies one of your solutions in particular, which might be peacekeeping, for example, try to link those together. And fourth, I sometimes like to have a miscellaneous pool with stray thoughts or odd bits of research that I haven't found useful yet, but they're just too good to forget about. Categorizing all your research in this way will make it easier to achieve the next step, which is to select an overall strategy to pursue at the conference. Take a look over your content and try to figure out the strongest game plan possible for your country. The usual order of things would be to give a persuasive speech on a certain idea first, and then talk to a few countries that might like it, and then start working on writing a formal solution, but it's up to you. Just look for synergies between your solutions, actions, and rhetoric, and decide what your priorities are going to be. And lastly, go ahead and at least write your first speech for the conference with that game plan in mind. Don't waste time, don't cram too much of your research into it, just start pursuing your objectives from the very start of conference. If your first speech is just basic facts about your country and desiring that the problem gets fixed, no one is going to pay attention to it. Whereas if you're pursuing a game plan from the very start of conference, if you have a clear objective in mind, you're going to have a much better experience. So that's about it for this video. In conclusion, we covered three things. Firstly, you should gain a general understanding of the context of the topic, then spend just as much time researching solutions. I think every delegate should spend more of their time researching solutions than seems to currently be the norm. Second, you should push yourself to research as efficiently as possible. Be a generalist, not a specialist. It will be much more useful. And third, do remember to leave time at the end to actually translate all that research into a useful game plan for the conference. There comes a point where having more knowledge is not as useful as starting to think about what you're actually going to do with that knowledge and how you achieve your country's goals. So remember to do that at the very end. I hope you found this training useful and I'll see you next time.